Hey YouTube, this is Sun Jupiter here, here to bring you a video of a new program called uh, Wi-Fi Sync. Um, you need to have your iPhone jailbroken or iPod Touch jailbroken to use this program. Uh, when they were doing the my uh, jailbreak jailbreakme.com or whatever before it got shut down. Yeah, I did. I jailbreak it my, my, my 3GS. Why not? Fun times. And I really wanted this program, but Apple uh, kind of denied it from the App Store. Um, I don't know why the reason for that is. Maybe because uh, sometimes it is slow to sync, uh, but the way I do it is that I hit uh, when, when I have podcasts downloading, right, all the time all the time <laughs> you know i i don't want to go into the computer room because now i have this laptop um i don't have all my music on say my laptop to sync with my phone and everything like that so i don't want to go into the computer room um so i just hit that program and it just syncs so i let it sync no matter how long it takes because my phone's just gonna be sitting there anyway so i just let it sync right all right so let's jump in it oh, let me show you We'll just click on this here and we'll go to Wi-Fi sync so you need a desktop client and on my iMac here um, that should be popping up now um, this is the program you just go to their to their website and download it easy peasy and I'll put links down in the description for that okay <clears throat> it is ninety uh, nine dollars and ninety nine cents in the CDS store um, you guys should pay for that you should. All right. So once I hit it, this is always on. So uh, when you do turn on your computer, this the the client will always be on. So you don't have to remember to start it or anything like that. So all you have to do is just hit the program, Wi-Fi Sync, and then it's going to communicate. Whoops, communicate with the computer. I can open up iTunes here. And then there it is. There's my phone sync wirelessly. Show you there is no wires there, no wires whatsoever. So now it's syncing right now. Um, it's gonna back it up and all of that jazz. One thing, if you if you do do this, uh, make sure you, uh, the first time when you connect connect it together wirelessly, make sure you cancel the first sync. And then uh, right click on your iPhone um, on, in iTunes and transfer purchases. Because any, any apps that you downloaded before is not going to get transferred. It's just going to uninstall it off your phone, delete it and everything. So you need to do that. Remember that. You need to do that. So there it's done syncing. It's, it's the best program. And all you have to do is just exit out. And then it'll pop your iPhone off of iTunes. Done. Simple. Man, I unless Apple wants to do this for themselves, that's the only reason why I think they didn't approve it or something. Um, I haven't had a crash or anything like that other than the fact that if you're transferring a lot of, uh, uh, say, some music, music they're fine, but if you're downloading, like, audiobooks and... Uh, some podcasts these are pretty big, 100 megabytes, and programs that are or apps that are 100 megabytes. So you might want to look out for that. But I like it. I like it, Cydia. All right. I like it a lot. So uh, <laughs> I never thought I would, like, actually jailbreak my phone and everything like that. But it's I like it now. It's cool. Uh, but yeah, now the the website's down, so I'm sure they figure out something for you guys to But I guess you can just do the normal Jerry breaking way with spirit and all that stuff. But yeah, I thought I'd make a video about that. Um, I didn't make a video of me jailbreaking the phone because there's a trillion of them on YouTube. So I just want to show you um, programs and and as I come across good apps that are not available on the Apple App Store, then I will let you guys know about it. All right. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Sun Jupiter out. Peace out. Bye-bye.